Hi, this is Prachi. I am lactation consultant from Prachi Lactation. In the last video, we discussed about hiccups after feeding. In this video, we shall be discussing about breastfeeding post breast abscess. Hi, this is Tesha. We are starting a new initiative and it is called Ask Your Query. Details are there in the description below and remember to quickly fill it because it's there only for a limited time. In the lactating women, Normally, this occurs because the milk is not effectively removed from the breasts, giving rise to chance of having mastitis. When mastitis is left untreated or is not properly treated, there are chances that it can develop into breast abscess. The breast abscess is a boil filled with pus in the breast. Normally, it affects only a part of breast. It can occur in both lactating and non-lactating women. Now, let's see symptoms of breast abscess. The formation of boil will cause swelling in that particular area. When you touch it, or when you do any arm movements or shoulder movements, it can be painful. There is redness in that particular part of the breast and also there are chances of having fever. Sometimes nausea and vomiting along with tiredness can also be experienced. Now let's see the treatment of breast abscess. The treatment of breast abscess depends upon the size, upon the part of breast and also upon the severity of the condition. The treatment of breast abscess involves aspiration of pus either by using needle or by doing incision and draining the pus. Now let's see some tips of breastfeeding post breast abscess. Hygiene of the breast has to be maintained. The breast has to be maintained dry, clean and mother has to ensure that the pus is not oozing out from anywhere. Also, she has to take proper care by washing her hands after cleaning the breast and also before taking the baby for feeding. Medications Painkillers and antibiotics prescribed by your doctor are generally safe and compatible with breastfeeding. You can ensure that with your doctor and continue breastfeeding as well as taking your medications. Wear loose clothes and ensure that none of your clothes are putting excessive pressure on the abscess. Do not do any kind of massage on the area of breast abscess. The other things that you should take care of while recovering is you get enough sleep, you are dividing your duties among the other family members so you don't strain yourself, you are eating your meals on regular times and taking a lot of rest as you get better. Last but definitely not the least, in case of any aggravation in pain or fever, you should report to your doctor immediately. So this was all about breastfeeding post breast abscess. In the next video, we shall be discussing about use of nipple shield for breastfeeding. Visit our website www.prachirectation.com and if you had any if you got any value from this please give us a thumbs up 
share the video and subscribe to our channel. This is Trisha signing out. Bye-bye.